Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're talking about Roy's Peak, which is a day hike next to the town of Wanaka on the South Island of New Zealand. It's absolutely beautiful and absolutely convenient because there's a parking lot right at the trailhead. What you should know is that this is a moderately difficult to very difficult hike depending on your fitness level and it should take you five to seven hours round trip to the summit and back depending on your fitness level and how often Maggie makes you stop and take photos. So there's no shade on this trail and the views get prettier and prettier the higher you go. You don't even have to go to the summit to get some amazing photos, but we recommend you do because at the summit you can see Mount Aspiring in the distance, which is a really beautiful mountain with a giant glacier on it and a really cool name for a mountain, by the way. You can see all the lakes, you can see all the little New Zealand towns. It's just a really beautiful hike and the fact that it's right there, the mountain's just looking at you, you feel like you have to do the hike, so you should do the hike. I think I'm also going to take my shirt off. 9.51 a.m. It is the 10th of February. And we're gonna go hike Roy's Peak. It costs $2 on the track for a track fee. Track is also the trail. And we're tramping. <laughs> 50 meters? <laughs> and there's a restroom, so of course I'm gonna use it. I'm really excited about this. It's gonna be pretty. Maggie has convinced me to do another hike with her. At this point, I've lost most trust and faith with her when it comes to hikes, since the last one was supposed to be a one mile hike and it ended up being 16 miles. The hike before that, we almost died. So this could be the redeeming hike that's just a normal hike. Roy's Peak is a completely non-technical hike. You won't need much of anything other than some water, food, and decent fitness. The trail is well-groomed and completely safe. Although at some side trails near the peak, you may get a bit of vertigo. Okay, so we're about 30 minutes in to our hike. We stopped to take some photos, drink some water. There's no shade on this path. I am sweating profusely, as is Jennifer and Lillian. That might explain why everyone else is coming down right now. They did it first thing, because there's no shade. And the sun is very sunny today. And if you know one thing about Jimmy, he loves being hot and sweaty. <laughs> it's my favorite. Please? I promise to give you all the snuggles. Oh my goodness. It's worth reiterating that there's no shade on this hike. If you're on the trail midday, you cannot escape the sun. If you're anything like me, you're going to sweat so much it will look like someone hit you with a water balloon. There was not a water balloon fight. It's not even that hot, but I sweat. It is wet, but I can't get any water out of it. Okay, well, it's wet, believe me. With some good conversation, before you know it, you'll be walking the last few hundred feet towards the summit. And like all good hikes, we started from the bottom, now we're here. We made it to Roy's Peak, um, elevation something and something, I don't know. Six, well, no, it's supposed to be six hour round trip, like 16 to 18 kilometers, is that right, Maggie? 16. 16 kilometers, so it's a pretty good distance. I'm nothing but moderately steep switchbacks, completely exposed, no shade. You will get sweaty. It's hot up here, but cold at the same time. The sun is intense. Lily has blisters on her shoulder. Um, so use 50. sunscreen, 5,100 feet. It's a cool hike, it's good for a day hike. We saw people running it, maybe you could run it. Really nice outlooks of the mountains of New Zealand, the glaciers in the distance. And why not go for a hike, right? Most people don't understand hiking, and it's hard to explain why it's enjoyable in an objective way. You're just walking up a hill for the most part. 
but the experience is different every time, the views are different every time, and it's hard not to feel at least some accomplishment at the top. The hike down Roy's Peak is obviously a lot less effort than the hike up, though a bit rough on the knees. Still, it shouldn't take as long, unless you're with an easily distracted hiking partner. I love sheep, and so wherever there are sheep, I'm probably going to stop, pull over, and then politely stalk them. Cool. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I don't know about you. I mean, I think sheep are, they're pretty neat. You know, I like taking pictures of sheep, but I don't think you should stop every time you see a sheep because there's a lot of sheep in New Zealand. Anyway, so this is our first New Zealand video, and if you haven't noticed yet, New Zealand is absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. There's so many cool landscapes, and we've already been on boats through different sounds, and we've been hiking, which is what this video is about. We've been driving around a lot. The drives are beautiful. There's a lot coming up in New Zealand, so you should stay tuned. And if you're not a subscriber, you should be a subscriber. But if you've made it this far, you're probably a subscriber, because, I mean, who watched the video this far anyway? Okay, bye.